Film Festival will be taking place at the Playhouse Theatre in Durban. This festival is aligned to the 10th annual BRICS Summit, which is an international relations conference which is attended by heads of government of its five member states, namely Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. Now from the 22nd to the 27th of July, attendees will get the opportunity to see films from these countries. The festival is aimed at celebrating film productions from the BRICS nations with the objective of inspiring more collaborations from these nations. Now to tell us more about the festival, we are joined from our Durban studios by the Minister of Arts and Culture, Nati Mteto. Good morning and a very warm welcome to Morning Live, Minister. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, morning to you and your uh, viewers at home. Minister, let's start with the documentary that will be showing uh, Skulls of My People. What does it entail and what can people expect? Well, uh, perhaps let me start by uh, saying that uh, the most important thing for us with this festival is not just a festival, but uh, it's what as South Africa we've chosen within the BRICS member countries uh, to be of our national importance. Uh, and it's actually not only the sky, we have the whale collar, we have the beyond the reef. In fact, we have five of South Africa's uh, produced films, which are going to be a part and parcel of what South Africa offers uh, to, uh, to BRICS member countries. And for us, uh, the most important thing, as you would know, in the world today, which also affect us as South Africa, is that uh, we see a, a potential economic growth uh, in this, in this uh, uh, part of our work. And we think that uh, we will, as South Africa, be able to make our contribution as we started in the first and the second BRICS uh, Film Festival. And we hope to continue from there uh, this time around. Now, Minister, collaboration continues to be a key theme. The BRICS Festival will see various countries show their films um, at this edition. What's the importance of building relationships with the other filmmakers from different countries? It's huge. It's huge because um, film um, industry has shown to be a good ambassador for culture for different countries um, and the, the collaboration therefore becomes the key theme for all of us and uh, it's collaboration not for its sake as I said as South Africa we, we've been clear that uh, this is the area we want to take forward because as you know if you look at the population of these countries and, and, and the market it offers uh, for South Africa, it's huge. So if we have this collaboration and access the market, even with what you would say is the least populated uh, amongst the four other BRICS member countries, which is Russia, already we are talking about 144 million people. That in itself uh, should put our own uh, film producers in a better position uh, to be, uh, you know, benefiting out of their craft. Now, Minister, an important element of this festival is, of course, the interactions and conversations that will be taking place uh, with various stakeholders and partners within the industry. Tell us more about the day-long industry forum uh, during the Durban Film March that will be taking place as well. Well, um, as you know that uh, the most important thing uh, for any nation's relationship start with the uh, people to people relations and arts and culture becomes the center uh, of that uh, the interaction started some time ago uh, you would uh, have known that by now you have the jurors because uh, beaming these uh, films would be uh, also a competition uh, it's five per country, but two of them would be up for competition. So people would be exchanging uh, views uh, from the morning as they interact uh, across the BRICS member countries uh, to look into what is it that they, 
they can do better uh, and how to uh, improve uh, in the work of, of film production uh, and in generally the work of uh, film as an industry. Because you see, one of the things which uh, made us to look into this uh, was the whole research we have made on the film industry in South Africa. And we have seen uh, some of our uh, partners, like uh, India for instance, how uh, Bollywood has, bo has boomed, but our neighboring country here on the continent in, in Nigeria, the Nollywood, and we have seen that uh, uh, there are things which we need to put right as South Africa so that we also have our film booming. So the interaction, that, therefore, from the morning would be around that uh, and ensuring that uh, South Africa becomes better and South Africans benefit out of the BRICS uh, relationship. Minister, just finally, how are you making the festival more accessible for other filmmakers uh, in the various provinces as the festival is in Durban? Well, it is in Durban just as a location, but as uh, <coughs> you would uh, realize that the uh, uh, people, the filmmakers, uh, film producers and so on, uh, have been coming all over the country. Um, but more than that, uh, ordinary people uh, would also have access because uh, uh, they would be able to view uh, the, the festival uh, free of charge at the Playhouse uh, starting uh, this afternoon uh, for the next five days. And, and in that we are trying to further encourage people uh, to be part and parcel of the process of an area which we have seen as a nodal point for economic growth in our country, but also for cultural exchanges with uh, other members, uh, BRICS member countries, and those who are not necessarily members of BRICS, but uh, who may be coming from the developing nations. Minister, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for taking time to speak to us this morning. My pleasure. Thank you. That was Arts and Culture Minister Natim Tetra talking to us about the BRICS Film Festival that will be taking place from the 22nd to the 27th of July.